Before the lockdown in France, Abdenor Azouz worked on three building sites in the Paris region. An electrician with his own business, he was in demand. But since the French government ordered people to stay home to stem the spread of the coronavirus, he's had to stop work. Now he's worried about the future. The longer it takes to return to work, the harder it will be, because we'll need to restart the building sites, the work, the materials. Will the suppliers be available? Will they have the material needed? In construction, you're not paid for 60 days, so even if we started again in May, we'd not be paid until July, and we have bills to pay. Abdunur's wife Salima is also concerned. She's had to close her fashion shop in central Paris and says even before the lockdown, her clients began to stay away. The coronavirus has had a huge impact on the shop. My clients were very scared and didn't come, so our income plummeted. Our regular clients disappeared and the tourists, so economically it's a huge impact and I'm scared of the future. On the city's near-empty roads, some taxi drivers continue to work, but passengers are rare. In a 10-hour shift, I've only had five passengers. It covers my costs, but I'm earning nearly nothing. In fact, I'm losing money, but what can I do? As people stay home across France, shopping streets are quiet and businesses closed. People have lost trade, jobs, income and certainty about their future. The French government says that because of the coronavirus crisis, the country faces a recession, but it will try and support businesses and companies with a range of measures, including interest-free loans and special bonuses. For the première fois en France, for the first time since the period after the Second World War, we have launched a system of temporary unemployment benefit to avoid mass job losses. Like most people in France, Salima is getting used to confinement, but as the weeks pass, she wonders when it will end and whether the financial support being offered by the government will be enough to revive a business she's devoted herself to for nearly two decades. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Angoulême, France.